this is Stone Cold Export and today we're comparing Nvidia's freestyle sharpening to AMD's Radeon image sharpening. We will be looking at the performance hit in games and a side by side comparison in a few games, so you can see which one you prefer. The two technologies have their own set of pros and cons, so starting off with Nvidia's freestyle sharpening, the upside is that you can apply it on a game by game basis and you get a sharpening slider and a film grain slider so you can adjust it to your liking. For testing today I left it at the default values. And yeah, it also supports over 600 games, so you'd be forgiving for thinking you probably won't run into a game that isn't supported. Well, turns out two of the titles I wanted in today's comparison isn't supported. I was unable to enable free slash dropping in Forza Horizon 4 and Battlefield 5. And a major drawback, in my opinion, is that to be able to use Nvidia free slash dropping, you have to install and log into the GeForce experience. I'm not particularly fond of the GeForce Experience software. If you like it, that is completely fine, but I don't. Now, the great thing about Radeon Image Sharpening is how easy it is to enable. It is just a simple toggle switch under the Display tab in Radeon Settings. Of course, the drawback is that it is a global toggle. So it is then applied to all your DirectX 12 and Vulkan games. And if you're using one of the new Navi GPUs, it's also applied to the Direct all the DirectX 9 games. I would like them to add the toggle to the individual games in the Game Explorer like they have done with Radeon Chill and Anti-Lag. That way you can enable it in the games you want it and disable it in the games you feel it is a bit much. On the bright side though, you only have to install the drivers, there's no extra software and crucially no login anywhere. But when it comes to the amount of sharpening, uh, Radeon image sharpening applies, you are at the mercy of AMD you cannot adjust the amount of sharpness that is added to the image. Now let's look at what sort of performance hit the two technologies has. For testing we have the PowerColor Redragon RX 5700 XT and the Zotac RTX 2070 Super Twin Fan. I also decided to test the impact on the older Pascal based uh, GTX 1070. For full test specs see the description below. We start off in the Division 2. In the Division 2, the RTX 2070 Super averaged 111 frames per second with freestyle sharpening disabled. Enabling freestyle sharpening has a performance hit of about 5% for the average FPS, which is now down to 105.7 frames per second average. The frame times also take a similar performance hit. With Radeon image sharpening disabled, the RX 5700 XT had an average FPS of 101. Enabling Radeon image sharpening sees no performance hit at all. The GTX 1070 managed 68.2 frames per second average with freestyle sharpening off. Enabling freestyle sharpening saw a performance drop of about 3%. Next up is Gears of War 5. So with Radeon image sharpening off, the RX 5700 XT averaged 109.5 frames per second. Enabling Radeon image sharpening, it is the same story as the Division 2, so we see no performance hit at all here. Uh, with 109.9 frames per second on average. The 2070 Super had an average FPS of 103.4 frames per second with freestyle sharpening disabled. Enabling freestyle sharpening has a very slight performance hit of about 4% for the average FPS and slightly more for the frame times. With the GTX 1070 we got 78.1 frames per second on average. Enabling freestyle sharpening saw a similar performance decrease uh, to the 2070 Super at 4%. So a slight performance hit there with Nvidia's freestyle sharpening, as was the case with the Division 2. Now the last game before we move on to the side-by-side -side comparison is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the RTX 2070 Super averaged 106.5 frames per second, with freestyle sharpening disabled. Enabling freestyle sharpening sees a performance hit of 4%, and we're now down to 102.1 frames per second average. The frame times takes less of a hit though. The RX 5700 XT comes in at 102.5 cents per second on average with Radeon image sharpening disabled. Enabling Radeon image sharpening has no effect on performance as was the case with the previous two games. The GTX 1070 did 67.7 frames per second on average as a baseline. With freestyle sharpening this drops to 64.5 frames per second which is a 3% decrease in performance. So, there you have it. Enabling sharpening on the RTX 2070 Super will have a slight performance impact. Enabling Radeon image sharpening on the other hand sees no performance hit at all in the games tested. Now, all that is left is the side-by-side -side comparison, so I'll leave you to it. Thank you so much for watching, take care and farewell.
was ever easy. What do you need? Yes? I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days. The hard work. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. <laughs> 